instead of always using the same Italian words and you'd like some words and expression that can make your Italian even more Italian, in this video I'm going to share with you 10 Italian expressions that Italians use daily and you can find all of them in beautiful Italian songs. Cominciamo! from thelanguagerest.com and I can help you overcome your fear of speaking Italian and connect with the Italian world through creativity, art and play. If this sounds exciting to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notification and let's get started because today I'm going to share with you 10 beautiful expressions in Italian that you can use to make your Italian more Italian. These expressions are all idiomatic expressions or idioms. So basically, these idiomatic expressions cannot be translated literally because they won't make much sense. So for example, in English, you can say to someone, hold your tongue, but you don't actually mean that they should stick their fingers in their mouth and hold their tongue, right? You just mean that they shouldn't talk. So that is an idiomatic expression. And we have loads of these expressions in Italian as well. And using them can help you sound more Italian because we use this kind of expression daily. The 10 expressions I am going to share with you in this video are all from two Italian songs, really. And why songs, you may wonder, because I think songs are a great way to memorize and learn new vocabulary because you listen to the song and you just put it on repeat and that vocabulary just gets stuck into your brain. Let's start with song number one, which is Uno su mille, which is sung by Gianni Morandi. So here I am with my song lyrics. The song is Uno su mille, which is one in a thousand in English. And it's sung by Gianni Morandi, a very popular Italian singer. Probably you know him already. So, as you can see in the first part of the songs, there are already lots of idioms and interesting expressions that uh, I have highlighted in pink uh, in the Italian version and also in the English version. Now, some of these expressions sometimes have uh, an equivalent in English, which is quite similar, but some other times, not really. So, let's start with the first expression, which is Sei finito. Uh, and it means you're finished. Now, it doesn't mean that you are finished in the sense that you have finished a task or, you know, you completed something. In Italian, when we say, say finito, it means you are dead. Like, that's not a really good, a really good thing to say. So the expression is essere finito, eh, it means actually to be dead. Then you have uh, devi contare solo su di te, which means in English, you can only count on yourself. This one is pretty straightforward uh, because there is a very, um, the equivalent in English is fairly similar. So, contare solo su di te is the uh, expression to say, uh, to count on yourself. So, contare, to count on, we use the same preposition, yourself. But what you need to remember here is the preposition the. So, we say to count on the and then whoever comes after di te di me and then you have really nice verb which is ce la fa now uh here is translated as as makes it uh so the whole phrase the whole sentence is uno su mille ce la fa one in a thousand makes it so this verb is actually the verb fare However, it's combined with two particles, which are ce and la, which change the meaning of the verb. Fare on its own means to do, but farcela means to manage or to make it, as in this song. So as you can see, the meaning becomes fairly different to manage. Okay, then the next one, is in gioco c'è la vita and it's it is translated as life is at stake um, as you can see we use the expression in gioco and you may know that gioco means game 
you know, or I play in Italian coming from the, wor the verb giocare. However, in gioco means at stake. So when some, something is at stake, in Italian we say in gioco. In this case, life is at stake. <laughs> so let's see what you learn from song number one. Let's do a quiz! Come si dice in Italiano? My reputation is at stake. I count on you. The answer is in the description below, but obviously don't cheat. Write your answer first in the comments below this video. The second song I'm going to show you is another very popular Italian song and it's called Il cielo è sempre più blu by Rino Gaetano. By the way, there is a beautiful cover for this song done by Giussi Ferreri, which is one of the X Factors winner, the Italian X Factors. So if you'd like to listen to her, her cover as well, I'll put the link in the description below. But now let's have a look at the lyrics of the song. This song is called My Cello è Sempre Più Blu, by, sung by Rino Gaetano. And it's a quite an old song. It was actually released for the first time uh, in 1975. However, this song uh, is still sung nowadays by many more modern singer because I believe its meaning is quite current. It's basically a song about life and how uh, the world goes on despite social problems, despite lots of issues and things like this. Um, you can really <laughs> learn a lot of vocabulary by going through uh, the lyrics of the song and also get a feeling of how the life was in the 70s in Italy. However, I'd like to bring your attention on some idioms that are in this song. So as you can see, I have uh, highlighted them again in pink. So the first one is Chi ha fatto la spia? Now, uh, which, has, which is translated as who is a snitch. So, fare la spia in um, Italian is an expression used to talk about someone who has said uh, something that he was not really supposed to say about someone else. And normally, this someone else has done something wrong. So fare la spia means that someone has given away some information, possibly private information about someone else and their wrongdoing. Um, so this is what fare la spia mean. <laughs> Sometimes it's used between children uh, that, you know, they, they go to, the, to someone else's mom and say, oh, you know, your, uh, your son did this, this and that. And that is fare la spia. <laughs> then you have chi ha fatto cileca, which means who fails. Now, this is another expression with the verb fare, which is fare cileca. And fare cileca basically means to fail something, uh, to try something and fail. Uh, and then you have chi è morto di invidia o di gelosia? Uh, morire di invidia o di gelosia? Morire di invidia o gelosia? It's like in English and it means to die of envy or jealousy however jealousy however the word jealousy which is uh gelosia in italian has a slightly different connotation we normally use this word to refer to people when someone is jealous of someone else normally between relationship normally when we talk about relationships uh, whereas invidia is used basically for someone uh, die of envy because someone else has done something that they really really want or someone else uh, die of envy because they really want something that someone else has. So this is the same in Italian so we use morire di invidia to die of envy but uh, morire di gelosia is normally used to refer to the people to basically you can be jealous of someone essere geloso di qualcuno 
So essere geloso di qualcuno means to be jealous of someone, especially in a relationship. And finally, you have chi ha torto o ragione. <laughs> chi ha torto o ragione. Uh, which is translated as who's wrong and who's right. Avere torto means to be wrong. As you can see in Italian, we use the verb avere, uh, whereas in English you use the verb to be. So the, here it is, avere torto. And then you have avere ragione, which means to be right. And again, you use the verb to be to translate this expression. However, in Italian, we use the verb avere, which is to have. Did I put right there? No, I didn't mean that I was getting confused. <laughs> I mean, avere ragione. There you, there you go. So here you have uh, five more uh, idioms from this song, but this song is so rich in vocabulary that I really think you should have a look at it. Uh, and uh, I will uh, leave the link in the description uh, of this video if you want to uh, download these uh, learning sheets with the song lyrics and its translation. Did you like all these phrases and expressions? Then start using them and you can do so by creating a little dialogue that contains as many expressions as you can remember from this video. Tap your dialogue in the comments below and I'll be so happy to have a look at it and give you some feedback. I share more strategies on how to learn Italian through songs in my free workshop called How to Learn Italian Through Songs and you can find it in the description below this video. There is a link where you can also download the workshop workbook where you'll find song playlists, Italian song lyrics and English translations that you can use to start to learn new vocabulary. While you have a look at the description below this video to find the link to the workshop, make sure you also like this video if you liked it and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you will be notified when next video is up. Meanwhile, you can have a look at one of these videos right here or right here, wherever they appear. And this was Ermite Data from thelanguagegirls.com and I'm here to remind you to always have fun learning Italian. Ciao! Basically, these idiomatic expressions... <laughs> Great!